Good morning guys. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a corbel. This is a corbel, it's called corbel. They're like outlookers on the side of the wall. Uh, before you remove it, make sure that you secure it to the fascia and then you tie it to the, you make a knot right here with the rope and then you start wiggling. You see like this one is almost coming off. That's it. That's it. So, this little rope is going to help you to uh, to to hold the corbel in place. And after you remove it, see this is where it's nailed to. So you're going to have to uh, bring some cut it and then cut it right here. You see this is my safety rope. I'm holding it because I'm about 20 feet off the ground. You see my ladder? So make sure you're safe before you do anything like this. Or somebody's holding your letter, so safety first. See this corvo? Well, it's all the way up there. This is my 32 uh, feet ladder, and this is my corvo. This is how it's secured to the back, so when you wiggle it, you remove it from the wood, okay? See? So you're gonna follow exactly the same pattern. The reason they're removing it is because it's all damaged. See? So don't, don't try to patch them. Make sure that your new core walls are, are fully painted. I pre-ordered them from uh, a lumber yard. So they do the exact cut and everything. They just copy the, the same way. I just took my sample like this and then they made it for me. And they have the, the special equipment to make the core walls perfect. So I'm just gonna install them, okay? So, but make sure you paint them before you install them. Okay, this is Garcia. I paid about 40 bucks for both of them. They're pretty cheap, so the hard part is to remove them and install them because it's too high, okay? Later, guys. Do different now. I put a piece of uh, tin metal on top of the curve to uh, keep it you know, water-free. I don't usually uh, fold it on the side because then it's going to look ugly. But I usually put it on top where the water is going to start creating the damage. And after I, I that I paint it like this. And then so nobody's going to see it from the bottom that it has a piece of tin metal on top. That's to prevent the wood from getting dry rotted. <coughs> and this is the compa chapi. Que lo está este, clavando, haciendo su jali. Haciendo ese son como siempre. Así que no quieres hacer nada, Chapín, para que sepan todo el mundo en Italia, en España, que no se lo lleven al hijo de puya. And then you put cacking on the nails. And then you paint it over. That's it. <coughs> Excuse me. That's it. And this is the rotten one. Make sure that you pre-nail the the nails before you put it on on the roof. Okay, you attach it. Before I go up there on the ladder, since I'm gonna be by myself, I usually pre-drill some holes with the with the drill, and then I put the nails in place, and then I'm ready to go up there, and then I tie my I corbel with the rope and I'm just gonna carry it okay like that so it's gonna make my job easier because I'm not gonna have any help up there so I'm gonna do it by myself okay I did those about this in the front I did them about five years ago and they're still there so the lady she liked it you see Chappi Chapin is doing the other one over there see that? So he's, he didn't have any rope, so he's, but over there is lower. See, it's all the way up there, but it's on the second floor. And I'm gonna do the one on the, on the second floor, but from the ladder. I might put a lot of silicone cacking inside there, in the opening. 
You see I must call my cobble, it's hanging from the top. So I don't need no help. So I'm just gonna push it in place and then nail it. Use a good silicone around the base of the corbel when you finish and then paint it. Excuse my painting, but I'm not a painter, but since far away, so the details are not going to look, okay? So, crack it all the way around and then paint it.